Hello everyone. How are you all today? So Miss Victoria is here to do an art lesson with you. So we are going to um, do something crazy today. So I'm going to give you a few options because some of you, um, your parents might not want to use your fruits and your vegetables, which is what Miss Victoria is going to use today. So you can either, so you have a few options. So we definitely need paper. Miss Victoria is going to be using paint. So I have orange, blue, green, purple, red, yellow. I have these cool shiny paints. Um, you can use whatever paints you have. If you don't have any paints, you can just do this with markers. We'll do a little bit of a different thing at the end with markers. Okay, but I'm hoping most of you have paints in your house. Um, then we are learning about fruits and vegetables. So Miss Victoria, what you can do is you don't actually even have to use the actual fruit. Miss Victoria cut the tops off strawberries because you don't really eat the top part usually. And I'm gonna use this, and we're gonna be doing some fruit and vegetable stamping with our paint, okay? So I've got the top of a strawberry. I had kind of an old cucumber, so I'm using a cucumber. What color is that, friends? Green, that's right. I have a lemon, because I like the shape, what, how that prints. A lemon is yellow. I have an orange carrot. My carrots were a bit old, so I just cut off the top of a carrot to use. I have an apple, so an apple is a good one if you could even use just the apple core if you wanted. And I have the end of a sweet potato, which is a vegetable. What color is that, friends? Orange. And that will give you some kind of cool effects with the paints when we're doing it. Um, so if you don't want to, if your parents don't want to use food, but you can use like the ends of food. It doesn't actually need to be the food that you eat. Um, you can also do that just printing with um, an old toilet roll if you have it. Or, and you can practice doing different shapes with it so you can fold it in half and look at the different ways that that makes a different print on the paper, okay? So you have some other options. Or you can just use a paintbrush and you can paint fruit. So you have a few options. If you're not painting, I want you to get some fruit and vegetables out to look at and I want you to try and draw the fruit, okay? With your markers or your pans, whatever you have. I want you to try and draw the different fruit shapes, okay? So there's a few things you can do. So Miss Victoria's gonna start. I'm gonna use my cucumber, my end of my cucumber. And what color is a cucumber? Green, right? So I'm gonna dip that in my green paint. And you don't need a lot of paint for this. You're just gonna dip it in. So we just want a little bit of paint on there and you can scrape some off if you need to. Okay, so you've covered the whole bottom and then I'm just gonna press it onto the paper. And that gives me a cool circle shape. So you can probably do a couple of them even without having to put more paint on. Okay, and then I want you to practice your counting. So how many did Miss Victoria do? One, two, three, right? And what shapes are those? Circle, very good. So you can do a few things with your artwork. You can practice your counting, your colors. You can start adding some numbers together. So if I have three cucumbers, maybe we'll do, what shall I do next, a sweet potato? Okay, and what color is that? That was an orange, and we have another circle shape, right? A lot of these are circles. Okay, so we're gonna practice putting that, I'm gonna put that in the orange, so it matches. Okay, and then we're gonna press, do the same thing. So should we do three? Let's do three sweet potatoes. Whoa, that was kind of an oval shape. Two, three, and you can look at the different, how it maybe makes a different pattern than the cucumber, right? The cucumber had some seeds in, so that had some little dots in. This looks a little bit different. And you can, if you want to, you can even pull your um, vegetable down. You can do, on top of each other, you can make different patterns. So Miss Victoria wanted to practice counting. So I did three and three. And should we add them together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have six. Three plus three is six. So I did three and three. Let's try a different shape now. Maybe I'm gonna use my apple. And Miss Victoria cut it so it was a little bit, maybe more like an oval shape, right? And apples can be green or red. I'm gonna dip it in my red paint. Oh, and this is a cool kind of a metal paint, so it's shiny. And then I'm gonna just press that on the paper. Oh, and that came to a different effect, you see? That looks different than the others. 
And you could even kind of do two together and try and create different shapes. Maybe Miss Victoria's can make a flower. And then if you want to, you can even add details. I think that my cucumber, remember we did the cucumber in green? I could make that look like an apple. Maybe I'll get my paintbrush and I could give it a little stalk, a little top. And maybe now they look like apples. So you could turn them into different fruits. So you see how my cucumber now looks like little apples. So you can play around with it. My sweet potato almost looks like an orange, right? Around orange. Okay, and let's try our strawberries now. The strawberry is round, how Miss Victoria cut it, and it's red. Let's dip it in. We didn't do anything purple yet. Let's try the purple paint. All right, and maybe we'll make some flowers with them. Okay, so we could go one, two, three, four. Whoa, and they made some cool prints. Look, friends. And then we can do a little stalk, and you can turn it into a flower. So there are lots of things you can do with this fruit and vegetable painting. You can create your own designs. You see Miss Victoria made a flower using the strawberries. And you can think about what shapes you're making. Did we do the lemon yet? Let's do the lemon. You see the lemon, friends? So we're gonna dip the lemon in the yellow. Lemons are yellow. Let's see what this looks like when we print it. Okay. Whoa, that was fun. Look at that yellow. That almost looks like a sun, right? You could have the yellow lemon be a sun. Okay. And then we are going to, do we do our carrot? Let's do our carrot. So we're gonna take the carrot, dip it in the orange, and press the orange down. Press. And see how it made little circles? That was so fun, right, friends? So there are lots of options. You don't have to do it just how Miss Victoria did it. You could even, if you want to um, do something just maybe using your fingers, you could do fingerprinting and make fruits and fruit designs. Remember, if you don't have fruit or vegetables that you can use, you can use the, just a roll, an old toilet roll. We can dip that. Let's see what that makes. So we can just dip it into the paint and we can make different shapes with that, which is also very fun. And maybe we can lay it flat and you can dip it in the orange or you can do a few colors at the same time and then roll that onto your paper. See what shapes you can make with that, how that looks. Right, move it around. So fun, right friends? All right, so when you're doing your fruits and vegetables, look at all the different um, shapes of everything and the colors and see what they look like. Feel them. You can feel the texture of the lemon. It has like a bumpy texture. The strawberry, you'll see strawberry seeds. Okay, I want you to look at all the different fruits and vegetables in your house. And maybe if your mommy and daddy say it's okay, you can try the vegetables, try the fruits, see which ones you like, and then use the ends to paint with. I hope you had fun today, friends. It was nice to see you all and I will see you again very soon. Bye.